A news alert tonight, a burglar hits four homes in the northern suburbs in just hours. The crimes happened within blocks of each other. And police hope surveillance video from a ring camera will help them find the suspects. Michelle Fiore is live in Gurney with more details for us. Michelle? Corey, Dawn, this bold burglar has been breaking into homes while families inside have been fast asleep. Gurney police are hoping you can help identify him and stop him before something worse than the theft of property happens. Police say the burglar in this video got inside four homes in the Pembroke Club neighborhood between the early morning hours of 1.30 and 4.30 a.m. Tuesday. In all of the instances that happened in town, they were all unlocked doors. Um, so as I'm somebody going around pulling on handles to see what they can gain access to. The burglar gained access to four homes, but tried many others, including Sarah Fragus's. Right here, this door was completely open. Fragus says it appears the burglar was hopping fences. In her yard, he found her sliding glass door locked and she woke up. So at 4.36 in the morning, um, our room is in the back of the house. So we saw a light go on and our dogs were going absolutely nuts. How did you feel seeing that? Uh, super violated, really, really scared. Um, crazy thankful for my dogs because they alerted us right away. Surveillance shows the guy in a gray hoodie looking into her neighbor's window. The burglaries were in close proximity to each other, just down the street from Six Flags Great America on Hollyhock, Lawson and two on Beechwood. It's a quiet neighborhood where people say they feel safe. Well, I'm kind of surprised, <laughs> but we usually do lock our doors. Hopefully, like, they find out what happened and figure out who was it. Because right. it's scary for everybody, especially for the kids or for the neighborhood. The police have this message to everyone out there, even in places where you feel safe, lock your doors, especially at night. Live in Gurney, Michelle Fiore, Fox 32 News. Next week, trial begins for the man.